Hi, I'm Stuart Gallstrand, and I'm an upcycled artist. What I like to do is take things that have no value or little value and make them have a value as a piece of art. I like calling my mask fetishes to either bring a good spirit to your garden or maybe to chase a soul sucker away from your front door. <laughs> 30 years ago, I worked at the post office <laughs> and I stood there and watched the mail go by and by and by and I thought, is this what I'm going to do for the rest of my life? No. <laughs> so I quit the post office and started school to learn a little bit about art. I find my objects all over the place. Originally, I started out as a potter and a tile maker and then I kind of evolved into working with found objects. I realized there was found objects in my neighborhood, in my neighbor's garage. You know, when people started clearing out things and I said, give anything that's broken, shiny, or rusty, and I'll use it. I have found giant bolts that have fallen off of trucks in the middle of an intersection, and I pull my car over and say, I have to pick that up. I might die, <laughs> but where else do you get a 30 pound bolt? <laughs> a lot of people bring me things and they end up being pieces of art. <laughs> Often I start things and have to kind of tweak them and, and figure out like what is the right thing that I want to do. Um, Mostly I start with the face of the object first, and then after that I uh, start putting on the hair, or if they need shoulders or jewelry or ears or something. This is a coffee can. So what I'm going to do is screw the coffee can. I'm going to I don't know that my art is necessarily a feeling, but it's a way about looking at things. And in my whole life, I've looked at things like there's more than one interpretation. Whether it's history, whether it's art, whether it's politics. You know, there's more than one way to look at something. And I think that I try to look at things in a more amusing way. Sometimes maybe I'm making a statement in a political way or a social way. I want people to be happy, just like Chagall wanted people to be happy in his art. I want my art to make people feel good.